And welcome back everybody. So today we are talking about advection. And just as a reminder from a couple lectures back, we saw how diffusion is very efficient uh, at small distances, like between neurons in your brain, but at longer distances, like between your lungs and your brain or your lungs and your muscles in your legs, right? Diffusion is not an efficient mechanism. And one thing that is typical of, you know, humans or organisms in general is having a pump in there, right, to move flow faster. So again, imagine you need oxygen, you know, to go from your lungs to your brain or from your lungs to your legs. As we've seen by diffusion, it would take a year, which is not very practical uh, for things uh, that live, right? So we, you know, we uh, added a pump, right? So we can just pump things fast, you know, through the body. So same thing in nature, and that's what we call advection, right? So there's an advective flux when diffusion just doesn't cut it, right? Advection can just push things, you know, from one place to another very efficiently and very fast. Now, going back to our framework of uh, fluxes and diffusion equation, etc., that we've done in the uh, past couple lectures. Uh, so again, as a reminder, this is the diffusion equation as derived in the previous lecture from mass balance and definition of flux. So going back to the definition of flux, we've seen the diffusive flux in the last lecture, which is here. And now we just add an advective flux, which really just is the velocity times the concentration. So again, imagine that bank vault uh, with some money in there, you know, advection, all it's doing is moving that concentration or moving that vault from one place to another. So everything that's in the vault, C, right, the concentration or the amount of money is just pushed by advection, with, which is that velocity you know, from a place to another. And this is really the advective flux. So again, the mass balance definition was, you know, the change, the accumulation over time is minus the flux, right? Uh, so same thing here with, um, with the advective flux. So we just add the advective, the advective flux. So we have DDX VC, right? VC being the flux and DDX being um, the mass balance, you know, equivalent. So now we have a new equation, which is what we call the advection diffusion equation, <clears throat> where the accumulation equals the, actually this is a minus here, excuse me. Um, the, advection, the accumulation equals the diffusion part of the equation that we've seen already, minus the advection part of the equation, okay? And we see that this is a minus here, excuse me. There's a minus here. So now our advection diffusion equation becomes DCDT equals the diffusive part and the advective part, right? So again, DDX VC. So exactly the same derivation as before, except now the flux, the advective flux is added. So now we have the velocity uh, coming in here. Uh, one thing that's really important for transport and that we'll uh, talk about, you know, some more, and we've already seen when we did the diffusion examples in the first lecture is really time scales and length scales. Right, so the length scale for an advective problem is velocity times time. So if you think of velocity as units length per time, right, let's assume it's meters per second, so it's a length per time, then the relevant length scale is velocity times some time. Right, this is a length scale. And vice versa, so the time scale equals, you know, length over velocity, which is length per time. So that gives us a time scale. Now, one thing of note is that when you have something advecting, let's say, you know, think of a river, for example, uh, flowing down, downstream, if you take uh, length minus the velocity times the time it took to get there, we get zero, right? So L minus VT equals zero, right? So this is an important uh, length or an important scaling that we'll use when we solve this equation. So in the next lecture, we'll talk about dispersion, which is, you know, similar to diffusion, but different. So I'll talk about what dispersion is, which is really what mixes mass in uh, aquifers and groundwater. Uh, so dispersion is really important. And then uh, after this, we'll look at solutions of the advection dispersion equation. And their solutions, you know, use that scaling that L minus VT uh, issue to kind of rescale the solutions and make it easier in the math. So that's why I'm introducing it here. Uh, okay, that's all I'll say about advection, a very simple concept of just things move from one point to another, you know, with some velocity. Okay, thank you.